Okay, when you reflect on where you guys started this season and maybe what the expectations were to kind of what the reality shook out to be, what's one of your biggest takeaways? Um, I would say not not successful year. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, we we was aiming for for higher goals, but that's how the sport works. Sometimes, you know, um, we didn't figure it out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just happy, you know, the, that everyone put uh, a lot of effort into it, you know, uh, uh, whatever that means, you know, to everyone personally. But uh, I know I, a lot of guys were working hard. Uh, yeah, it didn't, it didn't fit together. We didn't play together. At the end of the day, basketball is team sport and um, we couldn't figure it out to win games. But a lot of guys has had nice seasons, you know, and um, on top of that, we had a lot of injuries, you know, so um, difficult year for all of us, but we got to move on. Bogey, at the beginning of the season, when I talked to you, you said you wanted to improve your defense, especially because from the previous season, guys have been going at you and you think teams were kind of targeting you. How do you feel like you, you know, did defensively over the season? Uh, I think uh, Quinn challenged me a lot, you know, um, starting from last year. Uh, I, I felt I, I improved a lot, but uh, it, it started with working on my body, you know, and be ready, uh, physically ready. Uh, that was like one of my main issues after the surgery two years ago. I was kind of getting used to it, you know, so now everything is good. Uh, I, I feel like I, I never felt like this in my life, honestly. Uh, so I'm, I'm just happy that you know, I'm going through that phase as well. Um, and I'm happy that I improved my defense this year. What do you hope to kind of work on for next season and, and taking that next leap? I know when you're yeah. you're in the league as long as you've been, and sometimes it's hard to find those things to kind of take that next step, but what is it for you? To me, I feel like I, I should be more efficient, um, like personal goals, but also, uh, you know, like, work towards like team communication and team stuff it's it's really important um, to address some things maybe earlier in season and something that you see and not just okay let's wait a little bit it might change and blah blah uh, so uh, yeah on, on, on as a personal thing mm -hmm. probably efficiency uh, watch a little bit of tape to see where where did I uh, miss a lot. Mm -hmm. Where did I? Uh, where should I make other decisions? And you know, probably communicate more with the, with everyone. What yeah. sort of communication things do you, we should? Sort of they learn? take more like uh, you know. I don't know if I'm veteran or I'm young. You know, I'm in that phase right now. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Like uh, I should take that veteran role a little bit more. Uh, and, and, you know, when is the time to be a young guy, switch up and be a young guy as well. Um, and if you know what I mean, like, you know, uh, just talk more, just um, express your feelings and what do you feel about the game, what do you feel about the team, um, <laughs> and that's it. What does it mean to you to have broken the single season three-point record? I mean... Uh, it means a lot, honestly, all these years, you know, it, it, I, ne I never tried to break the record, but uh, when um, it's funny, all these years you're working, you're constantly improving your game, uh, you know, I, I came here with, you know, a, a opportunity to play the game that I love, you know, and, and I was hoping for a better role than I had in Sacramento, and, you know, now I, I broke the the franchise record in three points, which I never thought I will do. I will do honestly, but it happened, you know. And I think uh, everything matters, you know. My teammates, coaches, uh, you know, fans, you know, arena. I, I love to play in our arena, um, and you know, I see that as a bigger picture. And like, um, I give I give credit to everyone that it's part of success. You mentioned the next step you'd like to take personally. So on a team level, what would you like to see to have more success next season? Uh, buy into the roles, you know, and, and more sacrifices. 
uh, we didn't we didn't sacrifice enough. You know, I, I feel like in my experience when I play for the successful teams, and it's not necessarily like winning a championship, but just um, feeling good overall. Um, because you can lose the game, but you know there is a ways that you you lose, and I, I feel like everyone sees that the energy and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, sacrificing more uh, for for the teammates and um, doing the little things that matters for win. What does sacrificing look like? I guess like when you mean that, like what is that? It's like <clears throat> when we all practice all these moves and all the stuff, you create the habits. And then there is stuff that, you know, somebody tell you, hey, do it this way, you know, the, the other way that you don't like to do it. And that's the sacrifice. <laughs> you got to do it. <laughs> that's it. On both ways, defensively, offensively. Uh, sometimes we are too locked in on ourselves and individual stats or uh, whatever. And we compete with each other. And there is, there, there is a healthy competition, you know but it could be unhealthy too. So uh, you have to know the levels of it. So it's fair to say it's maybe some players sacrifice more than others maybe, or not consistently? It, it, it changed, you know, when you, when you play good, then you, you want to sacrifice more. When you play bad, oh, I gotta get to mine, you know, and it, that's how it works. Uh, but if you, if you have a, um, maybe we don't value as much like little things like, um, good defensive plays, you know, we all want to score, we all want to have points, we all have, you know, there is a, um, NBA is a big league, you know, big marketing, a lot of money, so you, you got to be able to handle all of that, you know. But you don't necessarily have a ton of time to take some time off with the Olympics coming up, just how much time will you be able to maybe rest a little bit before you get back to training with Serbian team? I mean, I'm... I'm kind of already motivated, you know, for uh, for Olympics because yeah. it's a special event, special thing. Um, I don't think we will ever see those type of players together, mm -hmm. you know, representing the USA and uh, competing. So it'll, it'll be really fun to go out there and compete against them. Um, it's gonna be be a different game, yeah. probably, uh, but I'm I'm looking forward forward to it, and you know, I gotta get ready. Got to stay, stay ready. What's it like? You went to the final FIBA last year. You see the U.S. team that's been assembled. What's it kind of like for you, like as the excitement builds and like looking forward to like Serbia? Obviously, it's going to be a, a contender right there with them. Um, I mean, we we can't threaten nobody, <laughs> especially <laughs> you know Olympic team uh, USA and. Um, you know, we, two summers ago, we had the goal as a national team, we had a goal to qualify to the World Cup. When we qualified to the World Cup, uh, we had a goal to qualify to Olympics. It's always like that uh, um, chase, constant chase to qualify somewhere. Now, when you're in Olympics, this is like you fight for medals. Um, so this is like main event, right? So I'm just excited to be a part of it, honestly. and. Um, I'm looking forward to, to get together with the guys and have fun. I'm curious, you mentioned sacrifice and those sort of things, and I've also heard other players saying, like, you know, it's a good group. And mm -hmm. are those kind of two different things? Or like, we all get along, and, you know, when we're on the bus, we are what, you know, it's a good group. But, but there's also this other matter of are we gritty enough? Are those kind of two separate things? I, do, I don't like think you I can you can you can all get along and everyone's happy yeah. to be together but but there's also the other it's, matter of are we doing all the things on the court yeah it's you know uh, we are we players we don't build the teams you know like we are we're in a locker room we have to find a way to uh, you got to be professional you got to be a good teammate you got to do all this stuff that you know the team put you in that locker room too you know so uh, that's all what it matters. That's that's how I'm uh, th That's how I'm here. <laughs> you know, that's I, I wasn't doing like I don't know some highlights um, I think all uh, Basketball world people they like me because the way I competed and the, the way I wanted to win You know and the, the contribution I was giving to the team. So that's why I, 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 I see this stuff, you know, and um, I had to say it 
Well, yeah, I wanted to ask you, uh, uh, like a couple weeks ago or something, I saw you tweet about a correction for how to spell bogey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it happened too many times, yeah. right? Yeah. It happened too many times. <laughs> I had to tell him. I don't know who was in, uh, was it NBA TV or something? Yeah, and the, the, and the NBA, yeah. NBA, yeah, I have to, I have to correct them, you know. It's, it's time, seven years. <laughs> they could... <laughs> So for the record, for the people, tell them how to spell it. B-O-G-I. Simple. <laughs> B-O-G-I. Thank right? you. Yes, that's it, right? that's it. Yes. Maybe I was spelling it wrong a couple years ago. It's your name. <laughs> how do you want them to spell it? Yeah. Maybe it was my spelling. <laughs> Is that kind of toughness, you talk about it, CC talked a lot about it, and the sacrifice, is that something that is just like a team identity thing that y'all have to get together and say, you know what, we're going to be a little less flashy, but we're going to be tougher, and that's how we're going to win more games? Um, kind of how, how, does that, how do you develop that in a team? It's hard, because you don't, you know, you don't, you practice to win, but it doesn't matter, it, it doesn't mean if you practice more than others, you're going to win, you know, it, it gives you more chances, but um it, it, you have to believe you have to believe in, in in the work that you're putting together and you have to build the chemistry i i'm a big believer in the chemistry between the guys you know and um we 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 didn't have that you know we just didn't have it um and you know uh, at, at some time of the season it was i i can see like it was hard for a lot of us to to find that extra motivation because you need that extra motivation, you know, to win those games at the end of uh, at the end of the fourth quarter or, you know, because uh, we can all get up, get to the fourth quarter and tight score, you know, but now, like, uh, it's that time of the game, you know, you got to win. Uh, the, we got to do what, what works the best for us. So um, we just didn't have that. Um, and it's unfortunate. Does that need to come from the coaches, the players? Like, where's that motivation? Or it's not one guy. It's not only coaches. It's um, we are people. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes you know we can't get along, and um, <coughs> sometimes you know I, I I have experience of you know not getting along with the guys, but you still gotta be a pro. And when you step on the court, we don't have to talk. We don't have to say the word to each other. You know, but when we step on the court, we got to do the job, you know, so uh, it's all part of experience as well. You know, I don't know uh, how many of the guys, they, they had that experience, you know, in Europe, it's uh, it's a little bit easier to uh, coach play players, I think, because um, I feel like media here and, and everything that is happening, it's kind of all lights is always on everything like i don't know when i had beef with the coach like we have beefs like every five games but because i stood up off the bench and it was that moment and camera was there it was a highlight you know so sometimes uh, uh people overreact because they see and they only see the highlight but you know we we talk for two years i, I talked with that, that man for two years and it's normal like to have these type of moments and I, uh, you know, I just think um, just having that pressure from outside, it affects a lot, uh, you know, your, your decisions. Sometimes you, you know, you don't want to do it because uh, even if it's good for your team and, and it's good for everyone, you don't want to step over because it looks bad, you know, uh, but actually it's good, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we didn't have probably a lot of these moments. <laughs> When you say like not getting along, is it just kind of like maybe you don't get along like playing style with each other? Is it more personally like you don't get along with each other? Was there? There is no like specific thing, but mm -hmm. you know the, the the things are not working together. You know, mm -hmm. like that type of stuff. Um, it could be you know we have a great locker room. You know I, I can tell you that like we we talk we we uh, we just couldn't. Uh, make that transition from locker to the court, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it, it's big difference, you know, because when we step on the court, maybe we are too competitive with each, with each other, you know, we are trying to compete too much, you know, 
not in other way you you compete and help you know in, in, in that type of way um, so which is part of experience for everyone you know uh, I I'm sure I mean if you talk with other guys there is nobody happy right so okay I don't want to be in this situation next year I don't want to be unhappy at the end of the year uh, so I think it's a good experience for everyone. Thanks, Thank you, Mogi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.